hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today let's make a bishop round collar and to start with to so measure the round neck of your neckline and for this i got 18 so on the piece of paper folded by two we are going to rule out just the starting point and from there we'll take a measurement of four inches downward and then we'll rule it straight you can as well rule it to the end of it and from this opening part i'm going to come out by two and a half but you can as well come out by two, three inches just to make it look firm after sewing it then you just do it just like this and it's very simple and easy then for the color i'm using a one and quarter inches to to do it the it, quarter will be for the sewing allowance and the one will be for the standing color then you connect it just the way you did for the upper one just like this and then we we'll confirm our measurement divided by two which is nine and a half and this is what we got after doing very easy and quick so next thing is to cut it out and this is it you cut it gently you can see the folded edge and this is what we have after cutting it out so now and mind you i'm cutting on an interface the thick art stay so now i went ahead to cut it on my fabric leaving inches for leaving allowance sorry leaving allowance for sewing i left cut out of an inch for sewing on the upper part then the down part i left enough space for the one that will be used to cover it and i didn't sew up to the edge i sewed to this point i just place my hand so now after sewing you turn it out and this is what it will look like so we'll go ahead and iron it to make it look firm and this is what it looks like after ironing so now the next thing is to connect it to our neckline which is like this for this i'm using a two pattern that is why it is like this then you sew it down after sewing it down this is what it will look like then we'll go ahead to use the lace to cover it outside so i'm just going to trim out the excess and leaving about quarter of an inch to sew it inward to make it look neat so now after this the remaining excess to the point you sew it to you're just going to tuck it in and then stitch it right there just a little on top of it you're just going to stitch it and make it look neat and this is what we got after sewing so you go ahead to iron it and that's all